Uh, let's just replace this tree. That's good. We have a turn one play. Just setting up for our fourth turn when we summon Vanguard Bannerman here. Ah, thank God. I'm quite surprised why he didn't use that the previous turn though. Hmm. Let's just do this then. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no wonder. Let's get some value. Why though? Does he have some sort of combat buff here? Okay, I'm quite confused. Uh, let's just let's just attack first. There's no way he can punish us for opening attack, and we can do in do a couple more damage. And remove his spiders. I'm quite afraid of. Eh, hey, wait, he's not playing Elise, right? Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's fine. Can just use single combat on her. And since she has three mana, you can't possibly be using Vow Feast and like use Vow Feast twice or use Redoing Will and Vow to break the barrier and use Vow Feast against my Bannerman. Let's see to remove it and make it an egg. The egg should be immobile, isn't it? Kind of weird. Okay, that's nice. My lead. Ah, ultra buff. Oh, okay. I was kind of afraid that it was like, like the ruination. Fine. Let's destroy the egg first. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Ah. 
Amazing. It must be playing sort of like a subpar Anivia deck, right? Or some sort of a variant of it. You need to be careful of the Ruination for sure. Because Anivia always plays Ruination. Something ancient stirs. Let's pass the turn. Pass the turn again. I bring the storm. Let's block here. Rend the skies. Now he's out of mana. I'm quite. Sh I'm. I'm fine with summoning another creature here. Uh. Yeah, he's going to surrender here. Oh, nice! Good job. Uh, now that we draw our misfortune. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's fine. Okay, good game. 